Good evening, this is uh, December 5th, our policy review committee meeting. My name is Bucky Scott. We ask everyone to please it's here for the meeting. Uh, how much are you here? How's that? <laughs> Anybody? Austin Jarek. Kristen Thompson. Fine, Bob Okay, so uh, I believe we're going to start off with policy 707, use of school facilities. Okay, this is old business. Um, the committee last time asked us to take a look at rally districts and their fee structures and how they did things. Um, so uh, with, with the help of the GA, we gathered some stuff from other, other school districts and what they were doing and kind of what the effects and greater need. Uh, if you look at policy 707, um, you guys should have to, you should have the parts that we revised last time that we did some work on this particular policy under the categories. We kind of define things a little bit differently. Um, from taking a look at the other school districts' fees and fee structures, um, the one thing for sure that everyone does it a little bit differently. Um, the one thing I think I would say that characterizes almost everyone is that they tend to have uh, more separate fees beyond uh, like category one, category two, and category three. And again, no one does them the exact same way. Um, but some things I'd like to bring to the board's attention and for consideration, and this would be up to you guys, of course, because I think historically when you look at the district, and I think it's the right approach, the district's taken um, the position that our facilities are here to benefit our community because they're paid for with tax dollars. However, they shouldn't be abused by our community either. Um, and we have to balance that and also not abused by outside groups who are not in, in, in the uh, affiliate with our community themselves, or our community themselves. And also keeping in mind, we have to, it takes time and effort every single time, um, staff time away from activities they normally will be doing every time we are dealing with these outside groups. To give the board an idea, um, this year we've had, this is not internal events, this is um, external events. This year we've had about 190 um, external groups, external events, I should say, um, that were used by various groups, either throughout the community, outside community. Um, so keep that in mind as we kind of go through this and we, we think through everything. Uh, and I say that for a reason, so you understand the extent of it and how it's done. So with a lot, a lot of these, we need to make some money on them. Um, as a school district benefit from them, given the man hours that go into these. Uh, let's start, if we would, Bucky. I'd like us to reconsider our parking lot fee. If you look, and I believe it's page three, um, and I like the stuff, it's page three anyway, right under where it says daily fee schedule. If you take a look at category, this is not category one, which is basically our school stuff and things that are really deeply tied to the school system. If we look at category two and category three, our current fees for the parking lot are $50 and $100. We just also paid our parking lots. So there's wear and tear there, car shows and other things that go on here. Um, we'd like the board to consider um, raising the fees to that. We have some ideas, but at least we were looking at it as a starting point for a discussion for a category two as $100 for renting the parking lot and a category three um, for $250 for renting the parking lot. Can you give some examples of the parking lot that are in category two? Yeah, everyone does a different, I, I think there's a car show. Jane, you know who does the car show? The women's club. Is that the women's club? Okay, the women's club. Okay, yep. Don't pay the uh, every there's lots of groups that sponsor the option yes. Yeah, we don't have to do that. We're just we're throwing that out there. It's not something that you know we're that's up to the board. This is where the Halloween, so we have the Halloween parade. Oh, the so 
fire department comes, rotary, um, all, all the, everybody that walks in the parade, so they come hours before. It's typically trash and things left over. We are we talking about charging for them? No. Um, this is that CR. We spoke about that before, right, Rob? Were we like about these scholarships that? Yeah, that's where in there. That's where we get. Right so on, on page four, we get a, screwed on that a little. Fifty dollars and the one hundred dollars. I mean, yeah, if you charge one hundred, you're like leaving trash. I know all of them. We all want to use the bathroom. What was your recommendation? We were looking. We were no. And you're recommending 100 and 250. Yep. Well, the category three is the outside groups. Right. Yeah, those should definitely pay. <laughs> well, they, they should. And any scholarship. I don't. I don't think 100 is terrible for category two either. I'm yeah, making an impression. Or, or, or is there a way we can? Just call Rob. But I'm just surprised that Rory is going to make a donation because I know who the president of Rory is. But we talked about these donations. I mean, they don't, sometimes these donations don't even cover the cost of, you know. Isn't the Rotary sponsor one of the clubs, the interactive club or something? I don't know. We definitely, in the future, just make it aware to these groups that, you know, they make the contributions to the district. Well, if you do 250 times 190, I, I, I don't know the calculator, but I mean, that's, that's a, that, that would be a definitely mark up there. And I, and I mean, that's good. We're not talking about just like, okay, they're using the auditorium, then they have to run No, no, we're talking about parking right now. Only when they're using the parking lot for the primary. For the primary event. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. okay, that, that's when I walked out. Okay, okay. I'd say uh, 50 to 100. And then 250 for the other, Rob. You don't want to increase it. I do want to. 250 for the other category three. You don't want to increase it. 250 for category three. Sold. 250. I think the other thing the board needs to recognize too is uh, right below the chart, um, fees above do not include amounts charged when additional school personnel are required. So, for example, if somebody's renting out athletic fields, then um, in category two, it's two hundred dollars. But if there are cleanup fees associated with it, uh, for example, custodial fees, or custodians one or two need to be there to clean up afterwards as a result of the, you know the, the, the event, then that too will come into factor as being charged for that organization. Is it because you know if we need somebody to clean up, we can't. It's not fair, I think, to ask the, the district or the taxpayers to for that category two or category three, unless we're 
again, referencing category two there, where it says in group of five scholarship or service, we can deduct that two may be included. So would that be like a, a relay for life or something? Probably category not. Two. Um, I, I'm not even sure what category two would that be. Whether relay would fall into category two or not, I'm assuming it would. Category two is nonprofits, uh, community, civic, um, and service groups fall within the bounds of the neighborhood area. School district would be playing missions, charge for fundraising, activities are a budget for profit. Um, if the group, we last committee meeting we stated and added, if the group provides a scholarship or service to the students of the district, an amount equivalent to the value of the scholarship or service may be deducted from the fee at the discretion of the superintendent or designated. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be easier to, like, athletic field, you just build in the cost of the, the Janet custodian or the two of them? Well, I, I don't know. Because I think that becomes like, a, I don't know, I just think it's like a la carte. Like, it's just like, you know, just charge them $300 and it's covered or $400 it's covered rather than having to go back and bill them for. Well, I think part of the, part of the concern is uh, depends on who you're getting to come in to clean if, it, if it's a weekend event and that custodian's already at their 40 hour threshold, then it could be an overtime event for that particular custodian where if they haven't reached their 40 hour threshold, it may not be an overtime event. So it could vary per event or how much is left behind at that event on. Well, could you put $200, say, whatever, whatever the, the dollar amount is, $200 Monday through Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's four hundred dollars. I'm, I'm just throwing that out at you. I'm just, not, not, the numbers don't make sense, but I would think it's easier for Kathy or somebody to bill them just a flat rate, like Saturday, Saturday Sunday. It's this. I, I don't know unless it's some yeah. ridiculous huge event that they have to do eight hours or something. I think you, you, you just you know. You, I don't know. I would think you could get. We could miss out on that money just because everyone's so busy and. Oh yeah! Oh my God. Yes. With what group? Uh, it was just one this weekend. So this weekend, Optimus got billed $1,400 for three custodians for overtime. So if it went to a flat rate, big would have been at a loss. Well, I. Yeah. Oh, it okay. Work. All right. Well, then that's the case. That's the case. Fair show. Sure. These guys were there 10 hours, and then they were also there Friday night. They played Friday night as well. And three so, you, so is it on you that to make sure? Is it on you to make sure it's billed correctly? Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, all right. Is that what they say every year? I'm going to apply to work here. I don't know what they pay every year. Probably less than that. That's the SSC. What? That's the contract for service for SSC. Okay. And, and it, it differs based on, I mean, the rate's the same, but it depends on how big the event is okay. on what the needs are. Okay. I, I, I get it. There's a lot of people coming through that show, so it's... Yeah, I mean, there was, I went there, and there was probably over 100 people, and I went at 1230, so uh, it was awesome right. for the community to see him. So, so that's it, another one at Fred's We had right. four toilet clogs. We had to, I mean, there was things... That was awesome for the I got a phone call Friday at 9 o'clock at night about questions with the custodial, so it was... Okay, that makes more sense. I, I'm sorry. I, I, I know, well, like, and all I can think of is like with BMF, they always tell us at the end of the football game, clean up all the bleachers or the school's never going to look Our heat's on, our powers are on, our power's on, our heat's on. Um, you know, using all our well, there was a question about air conditioning, too, right? That it's sometimes well, of the some year? schools charge $100 an hour for air conditioning. Yeah, that was just, but we'll stay on this one right now. Yeah, that was my next one. I don't know if we want to get into that. What? Anyway, and I'm at these events. I stop in, I'm not close. I do walk throughs with them before the event. Okay. So, so they're, getting a, they're getting an idea. Jay's kind of giving them an idea of what it may be and the extra fees, you know. Before they yeah. correct. sign on the dotted line. Yeah. Okay, to move on to the next point, if you want to be, you know, one of the things we seriously think about doing is uh, potentially charging for if someone rents our facility during the summer months where our air, we don't run the air conditioning. Yeah. 
Eric, can we pull in there? Maybe she off a couple other school districts. Uh, the thing. I forget what districts were charging off that, but they uh, would pull that off of theirs. So are our, our fees pretty comparable? Um, the problem we're having is the, like, everyone does it differently, so it, you really are comparing the apples to oranges, um, but the total fee, like some people, Tim Bucky's point earlier, um, some people they charge everything by the hour. Um, that's just a different approach than what we do. So happy to share some of that with you if you like. Yeah. So you get the high school cafeteria for $200 the whole day? You could. And what do they charge per hour at other schools? Cafeteria, if they're category two, um, their high school is $50, middle school is 100 less than For the other one. Category three is 200. It's category one, there's no charge, which is like your laser vision football and those kinds of groups. Category one is you get a lot of the community stuff, the AC Amity kids, the, all those groups. Category two, the category three especially is where you're getting groups trying to make, not all of them trying to make money. Um, for example, uh, I'm aware of a baseball group trying to brand, I don't know, baseball could be wrong, but they wanted to rent our field for tournaments. Well, that guy, where our facilities are here, we'll make that rich. <laughs> yeah, you know, our facilities are. So the category three is where you really got to start paying attention to that. Yeah. That air vision rate has a, you're directly a flat rate, $100. You said $100 an hour. Did you That's misspeak? Or? Yeah. No, that was correct. Hundred dollars an hour for air conditioning. Aaron, hundred dollars an hour for air conditioning. Correct. Is that now? You said you had to turn it on ahead of time. Is that for the whole time? It's all just for the event. Just for the event. Okay. Well, I would imagine we're putting out a lot of electricity. We turn on the air. Correct. Right. So there. I get the feeling we should go through each one of these things. Like category one's fine, but. Two and three should be. Two and three would be like a dance studio. That would be three, wouldn't it? A dance studio? I feel like those are students that are in a district. No. But, but the dance studio is. They are charging here. They're going to charge us even more for those tickets. Is there a cheerleader thing here? I'm just kidding. So cheerleaders are one. I want to get Beth going. They would. No, cheerleaders would be two probably if it's our school. BMF. Or one. So elementary school cafeteria costs less than the high school cafeteria? Shouldn't that just be a flat rate? Cafeteria is cafeteria. It's a significantly larger. Oh, is it? The, the middle school and the high school ones, yeah. Okay, then, okay. Are they? I believe Julia. So, I feel like we're not accomplishing anything. <laughs> Rob, should we go through each one of these? Or, I mean, I feel like we're not going to get out of this one. I don't think we're going to get out of this one, so let's stay out of this. Because otherwise, we've got to get out of it eventually. <laughs> so. yeah. All right. So, do you want to, do we want to, you want to at least need, I don't know, category two? Go, please get through there. From the top to the bottom, we could talk about it, and we don't have a lot more time. Are you guys good with that? So you just want to you want to double the cost for category two? No, no. That's not more like 
okay. He was so saying a couple of them. Hundred dollars for parking instead of fifty. And then you want to and add two up. Fit, two for cat, two fifty for three. And then you want to add a AC charge. Add a what? AC charge. Oh. Do we want to do we want to bump up? I guess we'll start from the bottom. Do we want to bump up athletic field? It's obviously you're, we're covering the cost of uh, staff. Are we good with two hundred? Should we make it three? Bucky, I'd be more worried about category three. Fine. Okay. Okay. All right. You want to? Okay. Let's, I would double your category three. Fine. Well, well I, I, fine for me. But are you guys good with that? Double category three? Those are like for, for the athletic fields? Yeah. yeah. We're talking about like that sort of field. Yeah. We're talking about this. Yes. Yeah. So now th that, that. Yeah. What? I would definitely add, if you're not going to um, bring the fees up, I would at least, if you want to keep anything the same, I would add an administrative fee or utility fee. Well, we just we just okay. discussed doubling it on category three. So without announcing out the the value of the of the athletic field again, would it be the the new amount and then the janitorial on top of that? Well, that's how it is now. Yeah. Right. I'm just yeah. clarifying that yeah. if we double it, it doesn't include the cost. That's correct. It would it would not include right. the cost. It would not. Right. Include. Oh, good. Okay, that's that's good. All right. All right. So we'll. Double up category three. S straight up, Rob? That'd be my recommendation. That's fine. I, I'm, I'm not. So across the board for everything, category three doubles up your step up. Okay. Okay. So, so three doubles. You're, you're going to pay $1,000 to rent a turf field. And decide that. Can you tell me how many category three people? Everybody around. I mean, I think it's just, it's, you know, there's all the schools that ran the turf. How many category three people do you have rent? Uh, I mean, that's, well, Rob maybe, started off with 190 now, external groups. Uh, maybe more now that fees are lower. I mean, these are, if you look at the identifier, um, category three are groups outside of the district or commercial groups or organizations within the district. So basically what that means is they're, they're charging they're charging uh, a large entry fee or right. um, tickets um, so they're admissions, tickets, admission, so they're making quite a bit of money on their events. Would that include like travel tickets? That was I'm just asking. If, um, I'm, I'm, I mean, we'd have to apply the policy. Yeah. Uh, if it is outside the district or a commercial group or organization, is that considered a commercial group or an organization within the district? Yeah, I guess it depends on where they're based, right? Yeah. I mean, right. I mean, an example, I'll just use that we had, we had a baseball tournament director just contact the school yeah. district and was trying to get our fields set. So and we turned them down for a variety of reasons, but the, that's an example of, like, there's guys out there making and ladies out there making money for one of these tournaments. Um, and, and again, that should be other taxpayers. So yeah. we deserve a profit off of that, that type of thing. If someone, if the rating range decides they want to rent our soccer field for their club soccer team, they, they need to pay, they're collecting big fees from their kids. And yes, they have two or three of our kids, yeah, but they have 18 kids paying fees and they're all from all over the county. So I think those things are, are reasonable in regards to that. But our, our students and our sport groups get first priority. They always, always get first priority. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. In fact, people get upset about that because they, they had a point in quite a lot. Okay. Do we want to discuss two? Or did I just miss that? What are we left with? I'm not involved in that. No, no, I don't know. Rob, do we want to do something with two, category two, straight up? Or go through each one of those individually? I gave you the one I was more concerned about was the parking lot because we just redid our parking lot. Okay. And so that, that was the one. 
And I'm okay because it's still above uh, category two, so that's restricted. At least category three, I think, would be an appropriate thing. Again, it's outside groups. They have okay. nothing to do with our district primarily. The rest are making lots of money off of it. Okay. That trip call, guys, it's the worst call in that. All right, do we want to go to any? It's, it's 6 o'clock. Do we want to, do you want to continue with our policies at the moment? So. Okay, so we just cover. Okay. And please do remember these are going to go through first reading and second reading. So if we drew what's, what's on there for first for this one in particular, make sure everyone's comfortable with that. And we, we, that's why we go through first and second reading. Um, so when it does go up there for that, just take a look. Make sure there's not unintended consequences of service. Okay, you're good with this? Okay. All right, this is considered first reading again, probably? Yes, that will be the first reading. Okay. All right. What should I do on the other policy? Just mark it down there. We'll just get table for next time. Just mark down table for next meeting. Got it. All right. That's that's it. That concludes our policy review committee meeting for December 5th. Thank you.